Hey y'all, welcome to the Lives Reacts channel. I'm Lives and today we're watching season six, episode five of Game of Thrones. This episode is titled The Door and I'm not gonna lie, I have high hopes and high expectations for this episode. I feel like we're finally getting to a place where this season is showing out in the way that you all have told me to expect this season to be in terms of like, people saying it's one of their favorites. All that to say, this, regardless of what this episode has in store, this is the halfway mark through season six, and I'm very excited. So let's get into it. If you want full-length reactions, head on over to Patreon. That is where you will find all full-length reactions to Game of Thrones and more. And while I have your attention, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the episode. For you, my lady. Littlefinger. How far is Mole's town? Sansa. Yeah, and Brian. You have no idea how happy I am to see you unharmed. We don't. Unharmed. Yeah, she is not for it. Did you know about Ramsay? If you didn't know, you're an idiot. If you did know, you're my enemy. Oh. Would you like to hear about our wedding night? He did what he liked with the rest of me. As long as I could still give him an heir. I can't begin to contemplate. What do you think he did to me? Act a little more ashamed, Littlefinger. Or sorry, or... Contem- anything. Lady Sansa asked you a question. Ooh. Maybe you did know about Ramsay all along. I didn't know. I thought you knew everyone's secrets. Ooh. The other things he did, ladies aren't supposed to talk about those things, but I imagine brothel keepers talk about them all the time. Ooh. I don't mean in my tender heart, it still pains me so I can still feel what he did in my body standing here right now. Is she pregnant? I don't need you anymore. You can't protect me. <laughs> there she is. Protect yourself if I tell Brienne to cut you down. Oh. Whatever you ask that is in my power. I will do. What if I want you to die here and now? Wow. You she freed won't. me from the monsters who murdered my family. And you gave me to other monsters who murdered my family. I would do anything to undo what's been done to you. Too late. Your great uncle, Brendan, the Blackfish, has gathered what remains of the Tully forces and retaken River Run. A time may come when you need an army loyal to you. <laughs> oh. She's still learning. Oh. oh! You'll never be one of us, Lady Whoa. Stark. Mm. I can't tell if she's in line or out of line. She has a point. Oh. Well, there's our answer. Yeah, Lady Stark will never, will never be one of them. That's the whole point, right? The first faceless man. And now a girl is one of them. If a girl desires. A girl has no desires. A girl has been given a second chance. There will not be a third. One way or another, a face will be added to the hall. Oh. Second chance. She can't screw it up, though. She won't. Oh, please don't die. Shut Ooh. up, you spine. Cersei, more wine. The rhyming is on point, though. To whom will he turn when it's time to learn to look darkness in the face? Ned Stark will do fine. Now bring me more wine. <laughs> Ooh, what's happened here, then? He brought oh. you here, Ned Oh, no. They made Ned look like a dummy. I'd ask him for permission, but he smells too bloody awful. Oh, Arya's gonna have a hard time with this. But if she really is no one, she'll stay on task. Not. I will. You dare not. I dare, yes. The line of succession. <laughs> What's that mean? The proper progression. What's that mean? The lawful ascension. Wow. What's that mean? <laughs> In what universe was he that dumb? Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, 
Her head is turned. My father's friend shall be spared this. <laughs> oh. And he's given me permission to take Zaza the... as my wife. Ew. You'll learn that once I lack in height, I make up for in appetite. <gasps> oh, let's forget. Oh, this place sucks. I'm a rum girl, Bobono. You need to know that if we're going to be intimate. A girl will poison the rum. Lady Crane is the only one who drinks it. If a girl could use one of the faces from the hall. The girl is not ready. She's a good actress. Hmm. Arya's struggling with this. Does death only come for the wicked and leave the decent behind? No. Death comes no. for everyone. But why is she being ordered to kill this person? The younger actress. She's jealous because Lady Crane is better. A servant does not ask questions. Ooh. Oh, Aria, Aria, Aria. Oh, they have dragon. Oh. Oh. Uh. Wait, what? I thought that the dragon stone was how you beat a white walker. It was you. You made the white walkers. What? We're being slaughtered. Mm. Our sacred trees cut down. Ah! Uh, we needed to defend ourselves. From whom? From you. What? From men. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. So the same way you create them is the same way you take them down. Interesting. I am Yara Greyjoy. I claim the salt throne. We've never had a queen. I hope they let her have it. Ah! When I am queen, we will build a fleet that you likes that I queen. am not finished. Yes, you are. A woman will not lead us. Come on. Theon's own male heir has returned. No. Theon can't lead. And sh should I lead? Can he denounce it? I am Theon Greyjoy. And she is your rightful ruler. Add a boy. Mm -hmm. She is a reaver. Yeah. She is a warrior. Yeah. She is iron born. Yes, she is. Yeah. I'm your yeah. and Grey Joy. I claim the salt throne. Who? Got yourself taken prisoner. You even heard you have no cock. That's fucked up. Explains why you think a woman can be king. Wow. Now I know what my first act as queen will be. To execute the man who killed my father. I did. I killed him. I apologize to you all for not killing him years ago. Whoa. I will build the largest fleet the world has ever seen. Right idea. Except I'm the one who's going to build the Iron Fleet. Stop! Seduce the Dragon Queen. I'm not going to seduce her. The Iron Fleet will seduce her. And together we're going to take the Seven Kingdoms. What a... What a... Oof. Wow. He won them over that easy. We shall have no king but you are on grey joy. Were they leaving? What is dead may never die, but rises again harder and stronger. Do they literally kill you in the ocean? <gasps> that is traumatic, actually, though. What is dead may never die. I noticed a couple people missing. 
So while he was doing that, they took his boats. Brought my niece and nephew. You're gonna hate this. Let's go murder them. Wow. He really what? He really, really was gonna hate that. Okay. They stole our best ships. Because they had the respect. Well, she did. Build me a thousand ships. And I will give you this world. It's a tall order and a big promise. Oh. She lit that shit on fire. I love her. I banished you. Twice. You came yeah. back. Twice. He sure did. So I can't take you back. And I can't send you away. No. You must send me away. Oh, yeah. Is there a cure? I don't know. I've seen what happens when it goes far enough. I'll end things before that. I'm so sorry. Don't be. All I've ever wanted was to serve you. Uh, well, not all you've ever wanted. Tyrion Lannister was right. I love you. Do not walk away from your queen, Jorah the Andal. You have not been dismissed. <laughs> not yet. You swore to obey my commands for the rest of your life. Well, I command you to find the cure. Oh. When I take the Seven Kingdoms, I need you by my side. Since then, nothing. So it's safe to say that a fragile peace has taken hold. Fragile being the key word. The sons of the harpy have a good story. Resist the foreign invaders. Our queen has an even better story. Mother of dragons, breaker of chains, and all that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all that. We need mm -hmm. someone the people trust. Someone they know cannot be bought or influenced. The dragons will purify non-believers by the thousands, burning their sins and flesh away. Ideally, we'd avoid purifying too many non-believers. You want your queen to be worshipped and obeyed. And while she's gone, you want her advisors to be worshipped and obeyed. Yes. That sounds most a excellent. A named Stannis Baratheon was anointed as the chosen one by one of your priestesses. Last I'd heard, he'd been defeated again, and this time for good. We'd be most grateful for any support you could provide the Queen. I suppose it's hard for a fanatic to admit a mistake. <laughs> Jeez. Terrible things happen for a reason. Take what happened to you, Lord Varys, when you were a child. Oh. Do you remember what you heard that night? You heard a voice call out from the flames, do you remember? Should I tell you what the voice said? Please do share with the class. He is unwell. That smile! If you are her true friend, you have nothing to fear from me. Danny? What was the name? Please. Here we go. This is bad news though. Because he's doing it alone. Oh! Uh oh. Time to wake up. Time to wake up. Time to wake up. Please? Uh... Yep, thank you. He saw me. The Night King. He saw me. He touched you. Yep. I don't know. He was close, but. He touched you. Yes. <gasps> 
Once you're here, he'll come for you. But he can't get in. He can now. His mark is on you. You must leave, all of you. Wow. Picked out. Hold on. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. The time has come. The time for what? For you to become me. Huh? But... Am I ready? No. <laughs> sorry. If we want to survive, we need Winterfell. And to take Winterfell, we need more men. The Umbers gave Rickon to our enemies. They can hang. But the Karstarks declared for Ramsay without knowing they had another choice. She knows a lot. That'll start beheaded their father. I don't think we can count on them either. How well do you know the North, Sir Davos? Oh. They may well be loyal, but how many rose up against the Boltons when they betrayed your family? He has us there. But I think she's onto something. They're more or less the same in any corner of the world, and even the bravest of them don't want to see their wives and children skinned for a lost cause. Okay. That's fair. They need to believe it's a fight they can win. We can start small and build. The North remembers. The North remembers. But John doesn't have the Stark name. No, but I do. Correct. And there are also the Tullys. They're not northern, but they will back us against the Boltons without question. I didn't know huh. the Tullys still had an army. My uncle, the Blackfish, has reformed it and retaken River Run. How'd you know that? Oh. He received a raven before I escaped Winterfell. That's good. The Blackfish is a legend. Hmm. She lied about Littlefinger. Stark, Tully, a few more houses. Almost starts to look like a win inside. I've sworn. Look at that little smile. I can't risk Ramsay intercepting it. It has to be you. Ride for River Run. My uncle will talk to you and you'll know how to talk to him. Oh. I don't like leaving you here alone. With John? Not him. He seems trustworthy. A bit brooding, perhaps. <laughs> it's understandable, considering. Yeah, considering he was dead. And that wildling fellow with the beard. John isn't Tormund. John isn't Davos or the Red Woman or Stannis for that matter. John is John. He's my brother. He'll keep me safe. I trust him. I trust him too. Oh. Then why did you lie to him when he asked you how you learned about River Run? Oh, good question though. Why did you? I like the wolf bit. Good. Because I made this for you. I made it like the one father used to wear. <gasps> Oh. Oh. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. You got this, John? I want an egg. How'd you like them? Boiled? Fried up with some butter? <laughs> Hold on. With a rasher of bacon and some blood sausage. Oh. Uh oh. They're here. We didn't get out in time. <gasps> oh no. Uh oh. No, oh, they get to meet their makers. A very full circle for for them. Oh. <gasps> uh oh. Run, run, wake up, run. Hodor, Hodor. Oh, Hodor. Help me. Crazy that in an effort to protect themselves, they created something so 
dangerous and wicked. Uh-oh. Remember that you are a Stark. Comport yourself with dignity at the Vale. But if you have to fight, win. Oh, thank you, Summer. Run, wake up. Run. Hodor. Oh, there's so many. Run, you have to wake up. We need Hodor. 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 Walk into Hodor now. Listen to your friend, Brandon. Yes, listen to her. He's looking at young Hodor. Hodor! Oh! Hello! <laughs> oh! Okay, good shit. Let's go. Summer. The time has come. Leave me. She's sacrificing herself. A stroke. Oh, the dog! That ending was so good, but so sad. Oh, but also so, because uh, we learned a few episodes that Hodor's name wasn't really Hodor, and I knew we would figure it out at some point, but it being because of some weird time crossover thing, and not just always being the way he was going to die and his entire life was just like I mean I guess you know I could say that about anybody's life that it all is leading up to the way that it ends but <sighs> just 
just feel extra extra pertinent with Hodor right now and that was so heartbreaking and beautiful and now it's like one of our favorite characters our steadfast Hodor lost his life for us but it's interesting because it's also like it he lost his life he actually lost his life so young because all along that's ran he was he'd been warged into right <laughs> so it was a little bit of him actually in there but then overshadowed by the trauma of of living in that moment for most of his life living in that moment of hold the door that episode was as good as i was hoping it would be it really 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 was i feel like we needed that episode i i had kind of had a feeling that everything in season six so far was like leaning up and building up to be so we could have these monumental episodes and we saw it at the end of episode four and then I feel like this entire episode was like hit after hit after hit of movement and change and action and progress and Sansa the fire in Sansa and reclaiming the north and like the iconic like circling back around to the north remembers that's so huge it was a really stark filled episode top to bottom right and aria and now aria has to she has to battle this decision of is she still aria because she would like to she's facing the trauma of her dad dying in the manner of a very crude play and as a vial to kill someone but she doesn't want to kill the person that she's been told and ordered to kill however if she really wants to be no one and serve the faceless god she has to do it and i'm very excited to see that come we did not of course get danny <sighs> And we got the gray joys, and that's a really that's I think that's ramping up to be something really, really fun. I think I think the first parts of the season we've been kind of like I'm still <laughs> a little like not aggravated but anxious because anxious because it feels so stagnant about the the everything happening in King's Landing right now with the weird cult of sorts and <laughs> sorry my cat just jumped on the desk anyway yeah I'm excited to get back to that because but not because I'm excited for that storyline because I want it to end I'm ready for that one to move on I, I just say I think that they needed king's landing to be in more episodes in this season because we've you can't really i mean king's landing has for so long been the center of a lot of stuff so excited to see that move past that storyline so we can move into other storylines potentially for that section of people oh but this episode that ending was really good really sad really well done something that this show does a really good job of is making those moments like it could have fallen so flat but the editing of it and the pacing of it and the timing of it and the music and the intensity of it make it really really emotional and that's something that shouldn't be looked over is that like it could have fallen really really flat to have this full circle moment of yeah, so his name isn't Hodor, but why does he always say Hodor? And why do we call him Hodor? And it's because all along he's been saying, hold the door. And he died to do so. 
but he never stopped holding the door. Not as long, not as far as we saw. And I'm assuming that, I'm assuming that he died. Um, in any case, that was a phenomenal episode. I'm going to leave you there with my thoughts. If you want full-length reactions to any episode of Game of Thrones or anything else you see here on the channel and more, head on over to Patreon. Otherwise, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode.